Hi there, it's Diane from Stamping with Diane in Innisfil, Ontario, and I am here in January with a new host code, my link tree for signing up for classes, and my online store. And today we are going to feature again the framed florets stamp set to make this beautiful yet simple card. Of course, the sentiments could be changed out according to what you're looking for. So the first thing we're gonna start with, we would need our basic white, and I've chosen the thick cardstock because it uh, it is going to be an, eas uh, an easel card. So I like to use the thick when I'm making an easel just to make sure it stands nicely. So it's four and a quarter by the full eight, 11 inches, scored at five and a half. And then I've also cut a piece of the shimmer white paper so it's slightly different tone than the the basic white this is the shimmer white paper and it does as the name says it does have a shimmer to it so this is what we're going to be using for our card front and i'm going to pull out a couple of blending brushes and our fresh freesia uh, ink now i've chosen to use these blending brushes. I don't tend to have a different brush for each, each color. I just wash them, rinse them underneath water when I'm finished using the blending brush and I find that it com comes out nice and clean. But I, I just have the set of three and I find that that, that works fine for, for pretty much everything that I'm doing. Now in our newest catalog that just launched, we now have mini brushes. So the head is a little bit smaller and the handle is a little bit smaller. And there's also in that catalog, a storing container. So a little um, rack that you can put those blending brushes in. Okay, I'm also gonna grab a little bit of our Highland Heather, which is just a slightly different shade of the purple. And I, I always use a circular motion. Yeah, good. This is just adding a little bit more texture and detail, a little depth of color. And you can see I'm just kind of going a little bit of a diagonal here across this piece of shimmer white cardstock. All right, and now I'm gonna finish it off again with the lightest tone and just really softly up in the corners. Give that a little bit of that overall look here. So very soft, delicate look is what I'm going for. And now I'm gonna take my one of my Fresh Freesia stamping blends. So it doesn't really matter which one I use. We have the light and, whoops, that's the other one. The light and the dark. Let's try the dark. So I'm going to use the wide tip here. Open up having the wide tip open. And now I'm just going to do a bit of a splatter across the card. So do you see I'm just hitting it with a bone folder. You can use a pair of scissors to hit it and you get this lovely gentle splatter across the front. Okay, from here I'm going to start our stamping. So I've got a scrap of basic white and a small scrap of the Fresh Freesia. And I'm using my Memento Black ink for this. And again, because I am using the Framed Florets stamp set, I wanted to choose one of these larger floral images. So I'm gonna choose this one down in the corner. And I'll also pull out at the same time the sentiment which which says just a little reminder that you are loved. So this could even work into uh, Valentine's Day. Here's a little trick. I tend to keep my extra die cut pieces just kind of tucked inside the stamp set. So sometimes I don't need to go and stamp something new. I already have what I need stamped. So just a little reminder that you are loved. Now this is my Memento Black, so it needs to be well inked and I'm going to put it just at the top there as centered as possible. There we go and now with the same memento black 
uh, we'll do this large floral on the scrap of white. So again, inking it up, this is the photopolymer. So I should be using my base. And there we go. And just because I have this scrap here, I'm gonna do two at once. And that way I'll have this ready for another card. Okay, beautiful images there, beautiful. So now I'm gonna grab some stamping blends and we're gonna color up this uh, floral image. Now you're likely familiar with using our stamping blends. I really love these blends. Sometimes I start with the fine tip and I've decided to use, this is the old olive and I'm just kind of coming in on these larger leaves with the old olive not even filling it all in and then I'm going to come in with the soft succulent and I've got the fine tip on this one because these are thinner leaves so I've just kind of looked at the shape of the leaf and I'm going by the shape and assuming that these are different varieties of plants and now I'm going to come back to this old olive and kind of add in a little bit of the soft succulent as well just to fill that in and then we'll we'll blend that in a little bit more so coming back again now with my light old olive so now i have a mixture here of the old olive and the soft succulent and as i just gently kind of come around this it's now blending these two shades of green to make it look quite natural there we go Okay, for the centers, I've chosen the pale papaya. So I'll go ahead and just color in that pale papaya for the colors, the centers. And then I've just got my freesias and Highland Heather. Make sure I've got them. These look so similar. They don't when they're, it's Heather, this is Freesia, Freesia, Heather. Okay, so one I'm going to kind of color in the fresh Freesia and one in the Highland Heather. So this is the Highland Heather. I'm starting with the dark and I just like to come around kind of the black outlines of the flower with the dark. And uh, just outline it a little bit. And then we'll come in with the lighter shade. So again, I'm keeping this one with the Highland Heather. So when I'm using the wide tip, I do not press, okay? Uh, it can just flatten this, this brush tip end. I'm, I'm really not adding any pressure to this at all. I'm letting the brush do the work and just kind of coloring in and around. So I'm happy with that one. And now I'm gonna do the similar thing with the other flower here. So I'm coming in with the dark of the fresh freesia. Sorry. Yes, fresh freesia. <laughs> so this is the dark. And again, I'm kind of following these, the shading lines that are already provided on the stamp. Thank you, Stamping Up designers who have thought of all of this for us. And now, like I did before, coming in with the the lighter of the same color. So now I'm just filling in, hardly pressing, just letting the brush tip come in around the edges. There we go. And just naturally we're getting a couple of different shades there. Okay, so you really can't see where I did the dark. It's just, as the name suggests, it's just blended it right in. So I think I just wanna add a little bit of the fresh freesia here to give a little bit, sorry, pale papaya. What's wrong with me today? Okay, and that's all we need to do with that. And then I'm gonna get our dies ready. We're going to cut this out with our dies. So this looks like the right one. And also in our dies, I'm going to pull out this piece 
and these two leaves. And these are quite detailed dies. So let's use the mother of pearl. Love this. It's so beautiful and sparkly. But because these are going to be detailed dies, I've chosen to use a piece of our adhesive sheets. These are fantastic. You get 12 sheets of this paper. And all I'm going to do, I don't need a lot. I just need enough for one, two. So this is going to be plenty. I'll use my snips. Just cut off that edge. And this is the back side, not the right side. You want to adhere this adhesive sheet to the back side of your cardstock or whatever paper you're going to be using. And I'm not even worried about getting it right to the edge because just most of the shape needs to be on the adhesive sheet. It doesn't matter if it doesn't get all the way there. So now I'm going to run this, this, and this through my die cutting a machine and I'm going to run this through the die cut machine and then I'll be right back to show you the reveal. Okay so here is our die cut floral piece just beautiful and so easy to do and then we've got our mother of pearl and I've got the three on here. Now these uh, I did run them through twice because we do have the extra layer there with the uh, adhesive sheet on the back. So I'm just using my take your pick tool, popping out those little holes. And I can do the same thing on this one. I've got my mat underneath here. And this just helps to loosen this off. Don't always need to use this technique. Aha, it's coming. There we go. Actually, ah, oh, there we go. The backing actually came off, so it's already sticky here. So I'm going to leave it like that until I'm right ready to put it on our project. That was interesting. Okay, and here's the other one ready to pop. Here we go. Oh, same thing's happening with this one. So the adhesive is coming right off the back which is not a problem at all. Goodness. There it is. It escapes <laughs> sticking to me. There we are. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it upside down. So I've got sticky side up. Oops, <laughs> it flipped over. <laughs> Murphy's Law, right? Okay, and here's the other one. Pop out these pieces. Actually, they'll come off with the, with the adhesive sheet. All right, time to start creating our card front. So I've cut a piece of the Fresh Freesia, just slightly larger than our um, it's a shimmery white. Sorry, shimmery white. So I'm going to adhere this on. I really, really like the look of the splatter. Just gives it a little bit of elegance, I feel. Okay, so remember the backing has kind of already come off of this, which is fine. As I remove it from the die, these extra pieces are staying in there, which is perfect. So now I've got a nice sticky surface all the way over here. And I want this just to kind of curve around following the piece that I used our blending brushes on. Okay, so these two I'm gonna hang on to for a minute and we're gonna pop some dimensionals on the back of this one. And I'll use my take your pick tool to pull those backings off. And then I'm also going to use some of our sheer ribbon and I want it to come up, down, and up again. So about that long, looks about right. Use my paper snips to cut through that ribbon. So this is the, again, the Fresh Freesia ribbon. And it's going to sit 
our, our flower is going to sit on top of that. So I'm just going to lay some adhesive down here underneath. Let it come up, down, and back. I think that's probably going to look fine. Yes. So maybe I'll just put a glue dot in here. I'll just hold it for a second while I grab a glue dot. Here we are. Just to hold this ribbon in place loosely, but just in place. And now our floral piece is going to come right on top like so. Now with these extra pieces of the mother of pearl, remember this one already has the backing off of it. Yeah, it's sticky. Sticky on the back. And I think we'll pop it here. And the other one, I'm removing the backing. And we'll just tuck it in up here. Maybe down here, actually. There we go. And then the sentiment, I've just trimmed it down a little bit. And I'm going to angle the end. And if you really want to be fussy and match that angle, then use the piece that you cut off to make sure you're cutting at the same angle. Nope, that's the wrong way. Do, do, do. There we go. So I put it on the back side so that I'm going to get the same angle as close to possible anyway. Okay, and then, you know what, I think I'm gonna trim a little bit more off of here. And then we're going to pop it on our card. So let me trim a wee bit more off. I'll use our adhesive there. I've just trimmed it down a little tiny bit to make it nice and narrow. And I'm just gonna tuck it in underneath the flower and that's also gonna help to hold down, kind of using my grid line here, hold down the, the ribbon edge. And now we're ready to adhere this onto our card front. So remember we are using an easel. And again, I'm just using my seal adhesive. Pop this on the front. And I've just made a very small border. I really wanted this um, shimmer white to show. And we're going to finish it off with a bit of Wink of Stella here on our, just on the large flowers to give a bit of sparkle there. And then I'm going to try that same technique we did before and add a wee bit of sparkle with our Wink of Stella. And there you have it. There is our card using the framed florets die and stamp set. Okay, it is available right now in our online store. And the, the designer paper is finished, but that's why I didn't, uh, I didn't use any of the designer paper here. I wanted to show you how to use this stamp set in a very versatile way. This could be used for any occasion. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Take care, stay well, and we'll see you later.